Hi everyone. I'm going to be doing a, uh, I'm going to answer a question. A lot of the uh, followers are asking about how I do some of my digital painting and some tips and tricks, especially if they don't, you know, they can't afford a Cintiq uh, tablet or uh, something Wacom. They may have an iPad or, or something like that. So what I'm going to teach you to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. So I'm going to use mischief in place of things like sketchbook or sketchpad or something on the iPad or, or you know, any other tablet devices and stuff like that. So um, as long as you can find something that ha gives you, you know, something with a canvas um, and layers, uh, your brush library, you can build that yourself. Uh, but I'm going to keep it really simple. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, in all my drawings is uh, a lot of the stuff I do is I do with layers. Um, that's my secret, I guess, or, you know, that's the what you should learn to use is layers. Um, depending on the application itself, some layers you can blend together. In other words, if you put um, uh, like a, a white um, uh, paint surface on top of another layer and you can just set that mode and it will blend it'll make it shiny or something like that you can uh, you can figure that out yourself but uh, i'll just show you what i do in traditional painting and stuff like that so normally i have two brush that i use it's a hard brush this is the hard brush itself you know this brush has uh, um, a tip and an end that gives me my 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 angles as i press harder or not this is what you're seeing then the other brush i use is a transparency brush my transparency, as you can see, uh, varies, right? So I normally go around about 30, 35. This is something up to you. Things you can do with a transparency brush is um, you can either start with a, uh, go back to the hard here and increase. So here's an example, show you in a nice dark, 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 dark background. Um, when you use a transparency, some people paint from dark to light, and that's what I like to do. Other people paint from light to dark, for but you can mix and match those two to get, create effects you want. So in this example, I'm going to give you, for example, if I go like this, I'm just going to paint over top as I layer it. I'll make the brush a little bit bigger so you can see. See, that's a transparency at 35%. If I go over that same layer again, you can see it gets lighter and lighter. Now, the good trick is I can do things like, you know, it's like sculpting, right? Then I go with a lighter color, as you can see. That's how you do sheens and reflective surfaces, curves, um, add tonage to something like a muscle and so forth. That's what you do. Another trick on top of that too is you have an eraser tool. And this eraser tool applies the same thing. You can use a hard brush or a soft brush um, like that with a transparency brush. So an example on a hard brush, I can just come in here and just literally remove that layer or a soft brush, as you can see. So you can cause these little textures. You go over the same spot again and you kind of create this reflective kind of look that's same principle but I'm using the eraser tool okay so that also works that way so that's my little trick and what I do with that is I layer I layer everything a new layer for this a layer 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 if I like what I like then I compress the layer down to one layer and I continue on from there so that's my little tip and trick now uh, let's see an example okay so I'll just erase everything out of here go to my brush tool pick my also I'm going to simplify my brush so you can see this is the my the second one from the top here in mischief is a hard brush uh, second one from the bottom is my transparency okay so my hard brush I'm going to use a blue I'm used to drawing my outline in blue uh, I guess it's from the old comic book uh, board day so let's let's do something that will give you um, I might pause the video to finish the sketch but let's see um, let's let's do a face that everybody knows uh, let's do Batman okay so I'm just gonna do his face I won't do very much of anything here's my typical shape there's my eyes nose so I'm just gonna do this like that mouth 
So, brow off something like this, and I will give I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm hoping you're getting this. Like this. There, okay. Let's say his ears go up somewhere. Should make his face thinner, actually. Uh, let's give him a bit more of a scowl. Okay. So this is my Batman. There we go. Okay, so that's my rough, right? So, next thing is let's let's figure out um, where our lights is coming from. Okay, so let's do some stuff. Let's say Gotham is over here. Gotham City. So it's casting maybe a yellow light, maybe something over here. Maybe some sort of light. And maybe it's a white. Could be anything. Lightning, whatever, here. And maybe above him. So this is why I like uh, Mischief. I can just continue on my canvas. So let's say above him is some sort of light casting down. Right? Or somewhere near the front here. Like literally going at this angle here right so coming at him so the light source is coming at his face maybe at this angle or somewhere like this right so i want to give it a mood that kind of stuff so i know okay some lights here maybe a little dark around the eyes maybe to make it a little dark around the eyes somewhere in here you know some shadows down here some shadows shadow below the neck right and something like this okay so that's my pencil layer okay so you can see I'll just go pen so okay create a new layer let's call that my ink layer okay that's my ink layer I'm gonna go to my color palette I'm gonna pick black right what's well, a good color black I'm going to collapse this layer, as you can see, um, my layer palette. Go here, increase my brush size. So as I paint, see, because I have a Wacom, try to get a towel, um, some sort of stylus if you want to do that. Uh, even with your iPad, like I believe a really good one is from ben, uh, the Bluetooth, um, uh, the Bluetooth uh, from Wacom. I'm trying to remember that goes with the iPad and you can get other stylus you can use this with a surface if you wanted to okay so i'm just going to come in here and i'm going to quickly give it an ink oh batman's got a really sloping uh sloping eyes and i don't think that's human but uh, certain things you should keep in you know in reality but this is this is a painting tutorial so we'll just go with it All right, I'm gonna do this really quick so I can start the painting process to show you, okay?
let's see. Hopefully you're getting this and you're going like, wow. Look at that. Batman now looks more like a cat. <laughs> Sorry, Batman fans out there. Um, I'll just use some thicker lines here to fill in the space. Sorry, I'm. Uh, I think I'm getting carried away with this. All right, all right. Let's let's continue on. Okay, so I won't go into full. There, that gives you enough. There. Okay, so let's pretend I did this gorgeous. Wonderful inking job of Batman. Um, I guess uh, DC worthy, I guess. Okay, so heading back to the lair. So what I do next is I usually put a base tone down. So creating base tone is pretty straightforward. You pick a, a, you can go from dark to light, light to dark, like I said earlier. So what I do is I create a new layer underneath the pencil layer. You can turn off the pencil layer. That's what my wonderful inking looks like. Then with this layer, I'm just gonna go and create my dark color. Now you might be wondering, how does he pick his colors? Well, I just go in, pick a color. And if you look at your uh, palette selection, um, the way I do things is, let's say I'll do like, uh, let's see that red I start with the dark let's say somewhere I don't go black because I already have black I go 10% up there's my first one I go another 10% up I'm just exaggerating 10% and right so as you can see as I go around the edge it gets lighter and lighter and that's how I build my tone right that applies for it you can go diagonally also as you can see as I go diagonally in any direction, black, dark, same thing. Go across, this is mid-tones, I guess, hue, saturation, and so forth. So that's really, you know, how you mix colors. Now, using the layer, this will give me my color mixing at the same time using my transparency. So first, I'm just gonna go with a solid color. So let's go Batman, dark blue, because um, back then, if you paint, uh, uh, you print black everything will be black so that's my layer I'm just gonna go in and literally just paint in that space don't worry if you uh, if you have the masking tool like Photoshop has where um, not sorry, the masking tool but a marquee tool where you can just draw and you see this crawling ant thing um, and you can cut your shapes and stuff like that, by all means use it. If you don't have it, like me, I only have a square, it's really pretty much useless, um, unless I'm drawing windows and stuff. But otherwise, you know, I just do this. This is where Mr. Eraser comes in and I just refine my edge by just erasing. Okay, so that's my, so. Now I have the base tone. I just create another layer. I'm just gonna make him more of a, let's see, let's pick a skin tone. Let's go with a really, let's go with that skin tone, but I'm gonna go darker, like that. Dark, dark brown, right? No, actually, no, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna paint him with a light skin tone. Oops, there we go. Make sure you pick your brush correctly. So I'm gonna paint in and look at that. Bruce Wayne has a light tan. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the reverse technique of going from light to dark or dark to light or you can mix it around. Okay. So as you can see, I go over an edge, right? 
his eyes. I'm going to leave as is. I'll show you the eyes, one of the techniques you can do too. Okay, so here, uh, let's do the eyes. So I'm going to pick that, go to my color palette. I'm going to pick maybe a lighter. I'm going to do a glowing eyes. So let's see there's a light coming this way. It's going to glow his eyes. So let's make him glowing eyes. So I pick my transparency brush, make it a big size. I'm just going to watch. As I layer, you can see. Same thing here on this side. There. Bruce has glowing eyes. Right? So that's how I do go about it. So on the, his face, I'm just going to leave that eyes as is. I'm going to create a new layer on, up on top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint shadows. Right? So I'm going to go back. I'm going to use the eyedrop tool because I forgot what color I picked in my color palette. I picked that it's up in there. I'm just going to go down. Dark down. Go back to my brush tool. Make sure I'm a brush. Pick the size I want. So I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see a little bit more. Now, this is where I'm going to paint shadows. So let's say a shadow on his nose. I'm just going to do this. All right. Don't worry if you go over because sometimes it does it's a happy accident. It's like, oh yeah, his lips goes over that spot. So, you know, but no, I'm just going to erase it. I'm going to give some shadow under that top lip. See? I'm just going over the same spot until I like the, the way I liked. So I'm going to give it a curve here a little bit. So, you know, same thing here. Some shadow, maybe around the edge. There. So that, that image is starting to look like there's some depth. Make my brush a little bit bigger. There. There's some depth, some shadows for that. Now, what I can do is I'll just create another layer, right? I'm going to paint some light. I'm going to give them a little bit more of a structure around his face. So again, you know, I forgot what color skin tone I did. I'm just going to color pick it and just move it up a little bit more somehow and just try it out because I just created a new layer. If I don't like it, delete the layer or erase the layer. So I'll go back to my brush and I'm just going to do, look at that. So I say, okay, well, light just hit this side. So now I just kind of created like a depth, maybe on his chin because the light was coming down. It's a little bit more white, maybe on his upper lip. Right, so you can do, let's see, 20 minutes already. I'll try to keep this quick. There, you know, if you go over an area, no big deal. That gives you the same thing. Just take the erase, erase over it. So, you know, something like that, right? It's not the prettiest, but you're, you're getting the idea. Let's do his, his cow. I guess is is it called cow? Oh, yeah, I believe this term is called cow. His mask. Okay, so let's do around his nose. So I'm gonna go back, and I know these are the colors I pick. Same thing on a new layer, on a separate layer itself. Here's a here's a cool trick. Watch. Look at that. Maybe light hit here first, and I'm pulling it down towards me. As you can see. The more I go over that spot, that's what it looks like, right? Same thing if I increase the brush a little bit more, maybe pull it away. Look at that. I'm creating a higher brow. Over here. Right? So just go nice and easy. Make a smaller brush. And I'll just go, you know what? Maybe here. But I'll create, like, this is where his brow meets, you know. So you create a little bit of, then down here, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Oops, too big. Something a bit bigger. There we go. Right? This is his cheekbones. So his cheekbones kind of protrude a little bit, and again, it drops into the shadow a little bit, maybe. 
maybe uh, some lights here. You can do all sorts of little neat trick. Don't like it, just erase it. So this is kind of like a butterfly like a shape or something. And I'll just do up here because there's more light up here. I'll just leave that space. And I'll just go over the same spot. As you can see, like I'm, I'm giving this feel as if there's like a huge, there's some sort of light reflecting from the city and it kind of like fades right there. Same thing here. I don't have to go as much because this is a lower light like this. Oh, yeah, my wife's coming down. I can hear her. Okay, so as you can see, then I'll just go up a little bit more with my tone. I can create a new layer on top of that because I'm not sure. I'm not very confident with my brush or something. And I'll just go with a lighter one. See? You can try different brush sizes and stuff. Just experiment. This is a good chance. That's why um, I've been doing my daily sketch every day. It gives me um, my confidence with my brush strokes. See? Now you're, you're going, wow, look at that. See? Creating some sort of depth. Right. To add more of an effect, I'm just going to change the background to a darker. So there, you can see a little bit more. That's my texture background. Um, so you can see that. Now, I can go in and, and continue on and layer on the stuff until I, I want a site. So I'll just go with a light light. So sometimes you play with the colors. Like, for example, be, remember what we said in our drawing here, some sort of white light. So I'm going to use more of a white, and I'm just going to paint like some sort of muscle. Maybe paint a little bit more here. So it's just near the edge. Because that's how I saw that. Maybe over here. It's reflective. Maybe right here because it's receiving that light from here. You know, he's got a higher brow here. Something, you know, on this side. So you can see do a little bit of a right and over here we have Gotham City and maybe it's gonna be yellow let's let's do a little bit of yellow like this and there we go All right as I go over the same spot it gives it more All right Right. Well, we want it on his face, but the issue with that is, okay, well, because this is in the front, I'll just go up a few layers up here, create one, and I'll just, like that. There, add a bit of yellow on that side. Maybe some, it's receiving a little cast on that side, under his neck a little bit. There we go. So, that's pretty much how I go about doing my digital painting. Um, I'm hoping you've learned from that. Uh, take advantage of your layers, right? And, and the layers themselves, some software will have, like if, if you don't, the yellow is too strong, just, you know, uh, fade it down a little bit more. I believe that's the yellow. Oops, that's the yellow on the face. And I go back, I believe it's this guy here. So you can fade that down a little bit more, right? So if you kept the layer separate, uh, you can merge layer, you can shuffle layers around and stuff like that. I'm assuming that's most apps will do that. Uh, make a mistake, you know, just go back like that. So that's how I go about doing it. Now, you know, if you want to do backgrounds and stuff like that, it's the same principle. Just make your layers, add them, um, and, uh, you know, some tools will give you blending tools, some tools will give you brush. But I'm just showing you the very basic, the two brush, my... Uh, hard edge brush, my transparent brush, using the layer, taking advantage of my um, color gradient, uh, my, my tones, and just go up in colors or reverse in colors, go back and forth. And that's how you create a mood or an atmosphere, right? So let's go a little bit, maybe give the eye a little bit more of a, there. Stand out a little bit more. 
There. Batman's a little bit more angry with glowing eyes. All right. Uh, hope that's uh, helpful. Uh, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll create another set of videos for some other stuff uh, if questions occur or whatnot. Okay? Leave a comment uh, or for a question, and uh, have a good night. Uh, see you next time. Ba-ba-ba.